This local sports report is presented by Green for Life Environmental, a proud supporter of the Elmira Sugar Kings. GFL is the only major diversified environmental service company in North America, offering services in solid waste management, liquid waste management, and infrastructure development. Learn more about their services by visiting GFLENV.com. GFL Environmental. Green today, green for life. It's game three on Saturday night in Elmira. The Sugar Kings and Air Centennials tied at one in their opening round series. So far, the home team has won every game in the best of seven. Opening period, the Sens looking to strike first. This is Jack Weiser breaking in. He is stopped, but the rebound is there. Daniel Batello with three saves. He covers up for a whistle, keeping the game scoreless. Later in the first, it's a good opportunity for Isaiah Shantz. He comes comes in. Josh Johnson with a stick save. The team's trading chances, but we are scoreless after the first. Second period, it's more from Double J. Liam Ebley to Adam Grind. And what a stop from Johnson. He gets his baby toe on it. Johnson coming across to rob the Sugar Kings captain. Still no score. Back the other way, it's air with a two on one. Ben Moldenhauer keeps and fires. Daniel Botello gobbles it up. He made 33 saves in the game. Still in the the second. Here is Brennan Kennedy with the puck. His shot stopped by Johnson. Both teams with quality chances, but it's 0-0 after 40 minutes. Back to the highlights in a minute. First, a reminder, this video is presented by GFL Environmental, a proud supporter of the Kings. GFL, green today, green for life. Third period, watch the near boards. Hunter McKenzie is called for cross-checking, and that sets off a scrum in front of the Sugar Kings bench. And watch McKenzie, he also receives a four-minute penalty for head contact. All of this happening in the early stages of the period. When the dust settled, the Sugar Kings would end up with a six-minute power play. They're looking for the first goal of the night, but the Sens with outstanding work on the PK. Ben Moldenhauer blocking a shot. Then it's a big stop from Josh Johnson. He denies Taylor Bothwell in front. The Centennials would kill off the penalty. They have the momentum and a few minutes later, how about this? Mitchell Ferris with the puck. He comes in and fires and there is Ethan Stover. It's a Stover special on a Saturday night at the Snyder. He buries it in the Centennials, take the lead with five minutes left in regulation. And if you're wondering about whether the play was offside, here is the slow motion replay. It's about as close as you can get. In the end, it's ruled a goal, and that's your game winner. The Centennials with a huge win on the road. They take it by a final score of one nothing. Game four is Monday night back in air. Here is Ethan Stover. After the game. What a game, what a night, what a series this is turning into. Uh, where do you want to start? You want to start with the goal or you want to start with Josh Johnson? Uh, let's start with JJ. He had a great game for us. Uh, big shout out for us. And uh, yeah, he's been solid for us all year and he came through again. 34 saves to post that shutout. Elmira had all kinds of pressure there in the second period. They also end up with a six-minute power play in the third that you guys kill off. Here's what I saw in that penalty kill. Ben Moldenhauer was excellent. Double J, like you said, making saves. How critical was that moment in the game to kill off that six minutes? Yeah, uh, I think we struggled in, uh, in the late game with a couple penalties, but I think our penalty kill unit came strong and uh, got through it, so good effort. Tell me about the goal. Selly was pretty good. Rebounds there, you pop it in, and uh, you know we were wondering what was going to happen. You know This felt like an overtime game for a lot of the night. Um, Ethan Stover ends up being the hero. He's got himself a championship belt to prove it. Um, take me through the play, E. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, in the first, I kind of had that same opportunity, and their goalie made a good stop. So coming down in the third, Ferris uh, shot it off the pad, and it's kind of the same, and just put it through the net. So um, big goal, and hopefully we come ready on Monday. One game doesn't define a series. You're now up 2-1 in the best of seven. You've also got a road win now, so you have home ice advantage. If you win the rest of your home games, you win the series. It's as simple as that. But like you say, you go into Monday night game four at home. You have an opportunity now based on what you did tonight. The mindset of the group is what? Yeah, job's not finished. Uh, we got to come ready Monday and uh, bring a big effort. So.